Flutter, an open source UI software development kit created by Google, which is used to develop cross platform applications for Android, iOS, Linux, macOS, Windows, and Wave from a single code base. In this video, I will show you how you can install Flutter onto your Ubuntu operating system and also create your first Flutter project. Let's get started. So to install Flutter into your Ubuntu operating system, just go to your favorite browser and just search for install Flutter and just go to this first link from flutter.dev and here you can see the installation instruction for all the operating systems. So since we are installing for Ubuntu, so we will go with Linux and before installing the flutter so you just need to make sure to install these command line tools here so to check if these command line tools are already installed into your system or not just open your terminal so just type ctrl alt t to open the terminal and just type which bash so if it shows some path like this then the bash is already installed so similarly just type which and just type crawl and if it's not showing some path, so you can just install something like this. Just type sudo apt, just type install and just type crawl and enter your password. So this should install the crawl. So similarly, check for all the command line tools. So you can also just type sudo apt install to install the git as well. So this is how you install all these command line tools. So I don't think you just need to install all of these commands so you can basically install crawl and git so otherwise other command line tools are automatically installed while installing the ubuntu operating system so once you install these command line tools so we just need to download the tar file to install this flutter so just go down here you so you can see this tar file so let me just click on this so this should download the tar file for installing the flutter so once this star file is downloaded, so let me just go into the folder here or files and let me just go into this downloads here. So you can just double click onto this to extract as well or you can do it from command line tool as well. So we just want to extract inside some folder. So let me just create one more folder inside this home. So let me call it dev or you can just extract whatever you want. So let me just click and create. And let me just extract inside here so once this star file is extracted so let me just close this one from here and let me just go inside the home and since I have extracted inside this div so let me just go inside here and let me just go inside this flutter and inside bin so let me just right click here and just click on open in terminal and if I just type PWD here so you can see this path so we just need to add this path into the dot bash rc file so now to add into this dot bash rc file so let me just open new tab on this terminal and just type cd to just go into the home and just type get it and just type dot bas and just type tab so this will automatically detect bash rc and just click enter and at the bottom so we just need to add the path so if i just go into the documentation here so the proper command is given here or proper line to add so let me just copy this export path here from here so let me just go into the text editor again and let me just type ctrl and b to paste and instead of this pwd so we just need to give the path so we just need to copy this path so let me just copy this path from here and let me just go into this bash rc and let me just clear this from here and let me just type ctrl and b to paste and if i just ctrl s to save this one so let me just save and let me just close this one from here so now if i just type which and just type flutter so for that so it's not showing now it's because we haven't restart the terminal so let me just close this terminal from here and also let me just quit the terminal and just type ctrl alt t and if i now type which flutter so now this should show flutter here so this is the path which we have just given so similarly if i just type flutter iphone iphone version so now this should also show the version of the flutter which we have just installed so you can see the flutter version 2.10.5 is showing here so once this is done so we just need to install the android studio as well so for that again go to the browser and source for download android studio 
and just go to this first link from developer.android.com and just click on this download and studio so let me just agree the instruction here just click on this download so this would download the tar file for installing the android studio here so once this tar file is downloaded so let me just go into the folder and again let me just double click to extract this so let me just click on extract so we just want to extract in the dev folder again so let me just click on extract so let me just close this one from here so let me just close everything from here and let me just go into this home again and inside the div and inside android studio and inside bin so let me just right click here and just click on open in terminal so start the android studio so we just have to type dot and slash just type stu and just press and tab so this will automatically detect studio.assets and just click enter so now this should in start the android studio so we don't want to import any settings so just click on ok so this is starting the android studio here so we don't want to send the data so just click on next and we just want the standard installation so just click on next so we just want dark theme so just click on next and just press on next so we need to accept the license agreement and also we just need to accept this build tool agreement as well so just click on accept and just click on next and just click on finish so this should start installing the android studio so just click on finish so this is showing the welcome page for android studio so this is not showing any option to create the flutter project so for that we just have to install one plugin so for installing plugin so you can see here the plugin so just click on this plugin and you just need to source for flutter and just click on install and just click on accept and just click on install so this should install the flutter plugin into the android studio so for that we just have to restart the id as well so just click on restart so you can see now the new flutter project is showing so it means so now we are able to create the flutter project from here so now if i just click on this new flutter project so let me just choose this flutter instead of java and this will automatically detect the sdk path so which we have just given and just click on next and let me just give some project name like post project and let me just give everything default and just click on finish so this is showing something like invalid project name so we just have to give the package name in lowercase with underscore so we can give the hyphen here so instead of giving hyphen so let me just give the underscore here and let me just give the organization name something like core with Arjun, or you can give any name whichever you want and let me just click on finish so now this should be creating one further project so once the indexing of these packages are completed so we just need to download the emulator as well so for that go to this top at the device manager so just click on that and you just need to click on this create device and you can just choose the pixel 5 or whichever you want so let me just go with pixel 5 and just click on next and i just want to download the api32 so once this is installed let me just click on this finish and let me just go with api32 here and just click on next and you can just give the name of abd so according to your wish so let me just click on finish with the default name and if i just click on this run button here so let me just click on this launch abd in emulator so just click on that so now this should start the emulator so once the emulator is started so go to the project folder and go inside the leave and inside the main.dart and to start the flutter app so you can just right click and click on the run button or you can just find the run button at the top as well so let me just click on the run button so this should start the flutter app so here you can see the flutter project has been successfully installed into the emulator so the flutter project also supports the hot reload so if i just go here into this main.dart and let me just change something like from flutter demo home page into 
code with Arjun and if I just type control and S to save this one so this will automatically reload the changes here so we don't need to run the whole application so similarly if I just go at the bottom here and let me just change this something like count so if I just save this application just type control and S to save so you can see so this has already make changes into this application so this is how you write your first flutter project into your ubuntu operating system thank you so much for watching if you like my video don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next one